morning, folks. Jason from Beer and BG here. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video uh, for you. I have, and I'm going to try to keep the video short and quick and a couple different angles, um, but essentially, uh, oh, and pardon my surroundings. I'm actually in my little man cave work area in my basement. It's nice and quiet down here. You can see I have some ammo reloading stuff over here. I have some dusty beer bottles down over here. So, so anyways, sorry, but this is a great place to work right now. Um, so real quick, I really liked Backgammon Galaxy's Adventure Board and Mini Earth Board. I like the size. I like the idea of a, a nicer travel board, something that I can just take out to look at some reference stuff or to play a quick game with my wife or take it even to our local tournament uh, instead of lugging around the big board. So I was looking for something like that, but the price point was a little high for me uh, with their products. So knowing that FM Gammon is contracted to make the boards for Backgammon Galaxy, I took a look at their website and lo and behold, they had some comparable mini boards. Um, and it was half the price. So I figured, let's try it, you know. Um, I have a little bit of birthday money to spend, so I went ahead and got this, and I'm excited. I have not touched it yet. I have not opened this thing up yet, and I'm just really excited to see what it looks like and how it feels and what the checkers are like. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Join me. Let's, let's take a look. Let's see what this thing looks like and, uh, you know, hopefully get some good play out in the future. So, let's go. I, uh, so this is the package here. Comes in the nice FM Gammon, like, you know, space suit style packaging. It shipped super quick. If you've ever gotten anything from FM Gammon coming all the way from Turkey, I got this thing in less than a week. It was really amazing. So my hat's off to them. I don't know what they have figured out with, uh, with FedEx, but man, it got here quick, so... And I've been sitting on it, waiting to open this thing up and take a look at it. Let's dig into it. Got a knife. Let's try not to cut this thing open. Let's see if we can find a good spot to cut it. So, let's see here. Maybe I'll try it from this angle. Doesn't feel like I'll cut anything if I go here. like there's some styrofoam in here to protect it. So hopefully this is a better angle. They really do pack these things well. I think my first FM Gammon board was packed really well. Not a scratch on it when I received it. So, all right. Yeah, they got... There's some... Uh, styrofoam in here to protect it. I will try to edit the majority of this out or at least time lapse it and speed it up for you guys so you don't have to see all of this. All right. So now we have the styrofoam piece. So it actually looks like it's pretty well protected. You can see there, I mean, it's a little ramshackle, but looks like it probably did the job. All right. Ooh, digging that. Like this little cloth bag that they have for it. Again, I'm not, I'm not expecting all the, the bells and whistles that you would see with the adventure board or the, um, or the mini earth board, but you know, uh, again, it's still the size, the dimensions, the checkers that I was really interested in something a little bit more pleasurable to play on than just my, my tiny mini board that I got when I first started. So you can see it's got the FM Gammon logo on it. It does look like a cloth bag might have a zipper. It appears. Nope. Nope. No zipper. All right. Let's take a look at this thing. Ooh, really digging that already. So you could see, I don't know if you could see on the camera here, but you could definitely see up top there. Um, they do their like faux leather uh, 
exterior here and I, I really do you know after playing on my my fm my full size fm gammon board which has the same faux leather uh covering on the outside i really dig that because on just like the um the plastic tables that we use for our local tournament like some of my other boards especially the ones that have like metal on the corners they tend to slide around a lot and uh that could get, especially if you're recording with an overhead camera, that could get a little annoying because it gets skewed and stuff. But I, I, I noticed this this faux leather covering on the outside does a really good job of keeping the board in place, especially on those plastic tables. So that is that is one of the nice things I like about how they design their boards. And you can see too, like this outside, like I believe it's MDF is the wood that they use. So not expensive, nothing fancy, but they do cover it in like this, this vinyl covering on the outside. So man, this looks really good already. I'm, I'm really excited to see the inside. Uh, one of the things I am interested in, and I'm not sure if they did that with these boards or not. Again, like price point is a lot different than what you see with the adventure board and the mini earth board, but I, I, I'm interested to see if they have some sort of uh, checker holding cup, cup you know, like shaker cup holding uh, component like what you get with those boards as well. Yeah, so I really am, am excited to take a look at this thing and see what it looks like. Uh, let's get that knife out of the way. Let's open it up, take a look at it. All right, so it doesn't look like it, it comes with that same, um, uh, holder as what you see with the adventure board and the mini earth board but uh, it's got a really nice cloth bag where everything's stored inside and actually I'm surprised because it doesn't sound like it moves around a whole lot in there maybe a little so so that was that was one thing I mean I was just just curious so let's take a look at what they put in here I thought I saw that they give you a scoreboard so Oh, yep, here's the, it looks like there's checkers inside the dice cups. <laughs> so here's the two dice cups. They actually give you a little bit smaller uh, dice cups than what you would get with a normal, like, Galaxy board. Actually, these, or not Galaxy, sorry, um, FM Gammon boards, these actually aren't too much smaller than uh, the dice cups that came with my, um, my Hamdi board that I got. So, all right, so let's go ahead and pour everything out here. See all of what we have inside. Okay, so it looks like we have pretty basic scoreboard, plastic scoreboard that they sent with it. It's not the, the nice little um, FM Gammon uh, cardboard one <clears throat> that I got with my, my other board, but this is really nice edition it's plastic with like cardboard uh scorecards so really nice all right so it looks like we got pretty basic doubling cube that comes with it and you can see here on this camera pretty basic but that's that's still a nice nice cube and they send these really tiny uh dice with it they're not precision dice because you can tell they have like the drilled holes and stuff. They don't have the painted holes. But same checkers that, you know, looks like comes on the, the uh, with the mini adventure board. Or the adventure board and the mini earth board. So the same like 35 millimeter checkers with the tiny little dice. Let's get the cardboard or the, the fabric uh, holder out of the way. Put the doubling cube there for right now. So let's let's set it up and take a look at it. So I'm gonna move the dice off to the side here. <clears throat> so we'll set up black over here. Go there. That is the one thing that I love about these uh, FM Gammon boards. It's just the sound of the checkers and the dice against the frame, which is either solid or wood. Uh, it's just, it's a really nice feature of these boards that is a favorite of mine. These checkers feel really, really good. Digging it. Digging it so far. Okay. Got those two over there and these three here. 
So yeah, it looks pretty good. The felt surface feels really good. It feels a lot like my Hamdi board. Um, these are not removable and I don't think they are on the adventure board of the mini earth board either. Um, but man, the, again, it's like these checkers on this surface with the hard, uh, outer shell of the, the board just sound fantastic. And I gotta say like these, they feel, they got the same feel and they slide exactly the same as, um, with my Hamdi board. And I love, love playing on that board. So this board is going to be an absolute pleasure to play on. So really, really nice. Let's see. The one thing I did want to see was dimensions. Yep. That's near perfect with just a little bit of wiggle room. That's, that's gorgeous. That is the one thing that with travel boards, that's kind of annoying. Um, is that, you know, uh, my, my one first board and I, I actually don't even remember the manufacturer of that board, but, um, the, the checkers don't fit exactly on the points, which is really annoying. So yeah, I don't know. Let's shake some dice, see what the, the cups sound like. The cups actually don't, they're all wooden on the inside. I know it's kind of hard to see, um, but they are wooden on the inside. They're completely wooden cups. They don't have fabric on the inside like <clears throat> like the other FM Gammon cups that I have that came with my Hamdi board. Um, but so I'm sure that's going to be a little bit more like uh, it's going to have a little bit harsher sound to it with the shaking. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what it sounds like. Not, not terrible, especially if you're using like these smaller dice. That's great. Double sixes. Look at that. Sounds great. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I might have to invest in some because it looks like, I wonder if larger dice would actually do well in these cups and if they would get caught or not. Um, if not, I'm going to have to, because I do not have, I, don't, I actually don't know the size uh, this die size, it's obviously a lot smaller than the other dice that I have that come with my other boards. Um, so I may have to in invest in some smaller precision dice for this particular board. So I don't know. Let's, let's just kind of move some stuff around this side first. Okay. There's my, so a six and a five. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and run. Now we'll roll for black. All right, three, two from this position. I'm going to assume I'm probably going to want to come out with the three and down with the two. So let's roll for white. All right, five, two. So why don't we bring a builder down and get him off the four point. <coughs> let's see what the return is. Ooh, double sixes. Struck out. I still don't think this would be a cube, even if this was a money game. All right, two, one for white. So we're definitely going to cover. And then probably, I don't know if we want to step up or slot the bar. Let's try slotting the bar. Probably a little too much for this position. All right, five, four. So we got the five is forced, and then we're obviously going to anchor up. All right, so let's see if we can cover that bar point for white. Five, three. So not quite. So we'll probably want to maybe pick the, the three up and just come down with another builder for the five. Start. Double sixes. So we definitely want to come down with two. We have a forward anchor, so and we have more men back. Let's do that. I'm sure that's a huge blunder, but you never know. Oh, sorry, we're rolling for white. All right, so the four, and then what are we going to do for the six? Let's come out with the six. Okay. 
So anyways, I, I dig the board. I like it. Love the feel of it. Love the sound of the checkers. This board is it's great for the money. It is it is really, really nice. Like, I don't see any, like, imperfections on it. It feels wonderful. The checkers are wonderful. You know, only drawbacks. I think I kind of wish uh, the inside of the cups actually had some fabric. Um, maybe deafen the sound a little bit of the... Um, the dice in the cup but it's not horrible especially if you use these dice if you're not going to be using precision dice comes with a scoreboard which is fan fantastic the the carrier for the for the um the checkers and, and the dice cups would have been nice would have been a nice addition um and I, as far as i understand they're cardboard so it probably couldn't have been that expensive and uh i mean the the doubling cube's pretty basic so i don't know maybe something something to step up but all in all i'm very very pleased with this product for the price um, i'm looking forward to being able to play on it more the size of it is fantastic visually it looks great it's just a it's a really nice board i'm really looking forward to playing on this thing more in the future so thanks guys have a great night uh don't forget to have a beer cheers